This bill permits a person employed by an LEA as a faculty or staff member to carry a concealed handgun on the grounds of the school where they are employed. However, the requirements to carry, they must possess a valid handgun carry permit uh, issued by this state, must be fingerprinted by the appropriate law enforcement agency, must pass a psychological evaluation, it must have written authorization of the chief of the appropriate law enforcement agency, it must complete a minimum of 40 hours of training specific to school policing that has been approved by POST. This must be completed each year to retain the authorization. I do not think that it's the responsibility of teachers in our state who are, have taken the oath to educate our children to now become law enforcement officers too. No doubt about it that we want our schools to be safe and I will be the first to join you in any efforts to keep our students safe. But this is not the way of putting that burden of responsibility on teachers. Members, earlier this session I presented legislation before the Education Committee and talking about how that we have 1868 public schools in Tennessee and 1302 of those schools have SROs but that leaves 566 schools across the state that do not have an SRO. Senate Bill 1325 uh, as amended is a permissive bill between an LEA and the chief of the appropriate law enforcement agency with a MOU, a memo of understanding. Uh, I've worked with the Department of Safety, TBI, Tennessee Sheriff's Association, and the Tennessee Chiefs of Police Association on this legislation, and it is my understanding that they are, are all neutral, and in fact, they've even stated that this is the, uh, the best piece of legislation that has come forward uh, relative to this issue. Um, my question to the sponsor is, um, say for example, a student gets a hold of a gun that a teacher possesses and they've done all the training that's described in your bill, what is the course of action to hold anybody accountable if a school shooting happens based on a gun that was used, taken from a teacher? Senator Bailey. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, it would be the same as if a gun was taken from an SRO officer. Senator Lamari, follow up. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Speaker, my next question is, um, is it the expectation that a teacher intervenes with the weapons that they have if a mass shooting or some sort of violent event happens within the school? Senator Bailey. I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman, could she repeat that question? Senator Lamar. Sure thing. Um, is it the expectation with this bill that if something of violence is happening in a school or a mass shooting breaks out, that this teacher takes on the role of stopping that particular shooter or perpetrator over protecting the kids? Mr. Bailey. Okay, th uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. So uh, in working with all the departments of safety, sheriff's departments, uh, chiefs of police, TBI, uh, the reason that we're requiring 40 hours of training prior to them becoming um, someone that can uh, carry concealed inside the uh, um, school is that they would be being trained to interact or intervene in the event that a uh, shooter uh, came onto the school grounds, just the same as that SRO officer. So in other words, this person is going to be training right alongside law enforcement as, um, as someone to know how to uh, interact. Also, um, being the, uh, the sheriff or the chief of police, whoever has jurisdiction over that um, LEA, they would know who that designated teacher is that would be part of their safety plan as they went to respond to, uh, say, a shooting or an intruder incident taking place. So they already know who uh, the SROs are. They would also know who uh, the teacher is that's inside that classroom that's, uh, that would be carrying. Senator Lamar. Thank you, Ms. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, previously, we passed uh, a huge budgetary amendment to give every school a SRO. Um, t for safety reasons. Why do we need this bill we've already funded for every school to have an SRO? Senator Bailey. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. So 
Senator Lamar, in my opening remarks, I made the statement that there's 1,868 public schools in Tennessee, K through 12. 1,302 of those have SROs. Unfortunately, 566 of those schools do not have SROs. This is just another tool that can be used by those uh, K through 12 schools in the event uh, that they're not capable of of hiring an SRO. In fact, I'm carrying legislation this year that will allow those um, law enforcement officers that have retired to be able to return back for at least a two-year period to become SROs. It's, it's certainly um, something that's needed to protect our students across the state. Uh, Dr. any follow-up? Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chair, uh, and I appreciate your indulgence, Mr. Sponsor. Um, I would agree. I would love to see former law enforcement service SROs, um, but I will close that one. I think the good thing that this bill points out is the fact the benefit of having a permitting system, which we need to bring back in place in Tennessee. But at the same time, I do not think that it's the responsibility of teachers in our state who are, have taken the oath to educate our children to now become law enforcement officers too. What I do hope is we take components of creating a permitting process that we've created in this bill and create that for all the Tennesseans who want to own guns. But um, with that being said, I appreciate your efforts and I will just be a no. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Bailey. Would you like to close or uh, would you like to go for a vote? Sure, uh, I, I would like to just point out one thing relative to this bill, that it's just, a teacher, Senator Bailey, if you make that your closing statement, I'll make then we don't have to take any other questions. I'll make this my closing statement, Thank Mr. You, Chairman. Senator Bailey. I would just like to state that anyone that seeks to, if this bill passes and moves forward, that anyone, any teacher, any faculty member, any staff member that is seeking to obtain this certification has to have a psychological evaluation just like any law enforcement officer conducted by the Tennessee, by a, a trained professional that's designated by uh, Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. Tennessee Bureau of Investigation will do all background checks, fingerprinting to make sure that this person is capable of, of, of holding this certification. They will be trained um, 40 hours every year um, by our law enforcement agencies. And this is permissive. In other words, if the school board and the local law enforcement agency that has jurisdiction over that area agree with an MOU that they would like to implement this, they can do so. That's my closing statement. Thank you, Madam Secretary. I take the roll on Senate Bill 1325. Senator Chair, which Kyle. Chair will vote first. I'm sorry? Chair will vote first. Senator Gardenhire. Aye. Votes aye. <clears throat> Senator Kyle. Senator Lamar. No. Votes no. Senator Lumberg. Votes aye. Senator Roberts. Aye. Votes aye. <clears throat> Senator Rose. Aye. Votes aye. Senator Stevens. Aye. Votes aye. Senator Taylor. Aye. Votes aye. Senator White. Aye. Votes aye. Senator uh, Chairman, you have seven ayes and one no. Thank you, uh, Senator Bailey. Your bill, uh, Senate Bill 1325, goes to calendar.